get into this video, please remember to subscribe, like and comment on our mom's YouTube channel, Sunflower Essay. Good day. Welcome to Sunflower Essay. It's eight another blessed Saturday today. You can hear eh? it's a heavy rain in South Africa. But anyway, I like it. I like we need rain, you know. Anyway, we will get into the video. I'm going to make a breakfast now. The breakfast recipe is appam and egg curry. And uh, before we get into the video, those who are watching for the first time and those who have not yet subscribed so far, please do subscribe my channel and support my channel. Let's get into the video. The ingredients for egg curry, two medium size onion red and white chopped, one tablespoon of ginger, one and a half tablespoon of garlic, two green chilies, three medium sized tomato chopped, salt for taste, then oil for cooking. Let's start the process. Okay, let me on the stove. And then pour the right amount of oil into it, into the pan and allow to heat the oil first. Let it get hot now. Then we put one after the other, the ingredients inside. I think now the oil is hot. Let me start to put the onion first and the chilies as well. Next, the ginger garlic paste and give a stir nicely. Now the onions are cooked, so we are going to add tomatoes into it and give a nice stir so that all the ingredients, wet ingredients will join together and it starts to cook. Leave it for a couple of minutes. Once it is done, then we can start with the next process. Now all the cooked ingredients, I'm going to make a paste. So now I'm going to continue the following process. First let us season. It's a one pot curry. I'm using the same uh, pot for it or pan for seasoning and making curry. You can see the mustard seeds. And I want to give the measurement. When it's popping, what we do, we put the curry leaves. These curry leaves are from my garden. Can you see that? After it is popping, what we can do, we grind the paste in, it, in the mixing. The cooked ingredients, I'm going to drop into it. This is my spice box. You can see all the powders and mustard seeds are there. I'm going to add all the dry ingredients in this gravy. Let's put the turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon. And I'm just adding only half a teaspoon of chili powder and one and a half a teaspoon of coriander. A little bit like quarter spoon or two pinch uh, paper. I like that black paper to add into it and give a stir first. And you can see the color changes. The bachelors can cook. Eh? It's a very easy recipe. Even the ginger garlic paste they can buy ready made. 
it's available in all the veggie shops and onions just to chop mustard seeds and other spices you all will get it in the vegetable shopping like in our place this uh, food lovers market is there you can get it everything all the eastern recipe uh, ingredients all you'll get it once you add everything finally uh, we can add our garam masala it's just a half a teaspoon just sprinkle it over then it's going to be a me allowed to uh, boil for a couple of minutes maybe one or two minutes after that we can add the eggs into it so now the gravy is ready i'm going to drop the eggs into it the whole egg and some eggs i don't know why the shell came out like that but anyway this is egg curry however way it is we all will eat and I like egg curry very much. And then give a delicate stir. And just put the gravy on top of each egg. If you want, another way also, you can draw lines on these eggs. So the gravy, that thing will go inside. A bit more spicy. But this also will be nice. So it looks a bit thick, you know. So what I do normally, people usually in my place and all, they used to add coconut milk. Coconut milk is obviously tasty, but for me and my family are very health conscious. So what we do, what I used to do past 15 years, I think, I take this low fat, if you look into the brand, low fat milk, which we use for our coffee and tea. I just pour it on it. Not a lot. Maybe half a cup. Yeah. And then just give a stir. People will think, oh my God, the curry is spoiled or no taste. No. You don't want to worry. This curry is just taste like the coconut milk curry. Not that authentic taste, but it will come closer. 85 percentage it's yummy trust me follow this so the curry will be nice and it's healthy as well this is my pot for making appam or pan you can say um, this is how it looks if you remove the lid everybody knows those who do not know for them i'm explaining this this is what we call it as Appachati. In our language, we call it as appachati or app, appam making pot. So I'm going to make appam now. I'll show you how to make it. This is actually a rice batter. The rice batter, we soak it on the previous day. Or maybe I always soak it overnight. So it will cover uh, 7 to 8 hours. Then you grind it. While you grind the rice... I took for today, let me tell you, today I took two cups, not today, yesterday I took two cups, I soaked it overnight, then after coming from work, I started grinding, I'll show the grinder. This two cups, then one cup of desiccated coconut, and then, um, yeah, desiccated coconut and uh, five tablespoons of cooked rice, white rice. And then salt, all that you can add it and grind it. I'm closing the lid now. After that, when once you know that it's grind everything nicely, you remove it from the grinder and then you add one teaspoon of yeast to get the fermentation. It must pungify, you know. You have to mix it. And again, keep it nicely in a locked, nice, tight, uh, closed container. You put it the batter and keep it for again the overnight. The next day you can say, oh my God, it just would have come up. It puffed up nicely. And then you make this appam and you get a really delicious appam. Let me show you the grinder. Here's the grinder. 
I used for grinding. I'll show you inside. You can see, I don't know whether you can see clearly. Inside, the stones are there. You can lift it up and then put it back. Then we put the rice here and it grinds. Everybody knows, as I said, those who do not know what is this, for them I'm showing this. And then just close the lid and it grind. And after an hour, I used to grind for, after, for an hour. After that, you can remove it from this, from the drum. So now I'm going to open and see whether, oh, it's cooked. Beautiful. You can see here. So what you have to do on the sides first, you just check. Is it coming? It's a non-stick pan. So you don't want to worry. Don't put oil. Just lift it up like this and then place it. And let me sh show you one more also. So I'm taking in the scoop, the big scoop, the spoon, two, one and a half to two. Yes, level. That will be fine. And then take a pan like this, twist it. So you can see everywhere the batter has spread evenly, circle shape. And then place it on the stove and then close it with the lid. This is how you make it. So I'm going to show you the second one. So I'm going to take it out. It's almost ready. You see how nicely it's coming out? Because it's a non-stick pan. And that's it. Now here I made the appam for my family. And you can see the egg curry. I showed you every single uh, process of cooking. So that one is ready now. You see, I sprinkle coriander also. Let me show you how this you can eat. It's really delicious. You take one egg and put it here. A little bit more gravy. Don't make it too watery, you know. Just a little bit semi-solid state. Yeah. So I finished making appam and egg curry. You can see. Let me taste. Because I love egg curry. The curry is really tasty. Yummy. Remember I poured the um, milk which we use for coffee and tea. It's nothing wrong. You will never go wrong It is really delicious You can also make it bachelors as I said this curry is very easy. The bachelors also can make it As usual the ingredients you can buy from the supermarket and do it this batter I'll show you a very easy and instant batter that I have to show you first and then you can try out of this uh, and to make a good apple. So I'm winding up this vlog because it's breakfast time now. I have to go and join with my family. So thanks for watching. Once again, those who have not subscribed and the new people who are watching my vlog for the first, week, first time, eh? please subscribe my channel. I really need the support from you guys. Uh, it's a good purpose I have started this vlog, the whole entire channel. So I need to reach that target. For that, I need your cooperation. So I, I'm sure, I'm still positive, I will get more subscribers and I will, we all together will achieve our goal. Once again, thanks for watching. But don't forget, share, subscribe, comment like button thanks for cooperation it's bye from sunflower essay bye bye